Hey guys, welcome back to our channel, Film Trendings. Today, we are with another video full of drama just for you. TLC's 90 Day Fiancé show is, well, one of a kind show, jam packed with drama. The show basically documents couples with one partner traveling across the seven seas to be with the other. How romantic, don't you think? But it's not all fairy tales and charm. Some of it is just plain painfully cringe to watch. So, come with us and let us introduce you to a few 90 Day Fiancé couples that rubbed people the wrong way. Before we start that, make sure you subscribe to the channel and hit that bell icon so that you can catch all of our upcoming videos as well. Let's dive right in. Number 1. Mohammed and Danielle Mohammed and Danielle starred in the show's second season and started off on a very unhealthy foot. Their relationship was clearly doomed from the get-go, with Danielle obviously obsessioned with Mohammed and Mohammed's clear disgust. When Mohammed finally left Danielle's home and they went from being a couple to the exes, things got even worse. Mohammed constantly made negative remarks about Danielle and their relationship and Danielle obsessed over Mohammed's alleged relationships. The arguments between the two tended to become explosive, like this one time when Danielle threw a pile of documents on him and accused him of being a user while Mohammed remained unbothered with a superiority complex. After much contemplation, the two finally got a divorce, ending one of the most toxic relationships of the show. Also guys, while we introduce you to the cringe part of the show, why don't you take us towards the charming part of it and let us know in the comments section if you know couples from 90 Day Fiancé who were goals and had a smooth ride. Number 2. Azen and Nicole It's surprising how far Azen and Nicole made it together despite their very obvious lack in chemistry. Introduced to the world in the show's fourth season, the couple started off with a plenty of problems. Both of them were quite immature and created drama within the family, including cheating scandals, Nicole's temper tantrums over the fact that Azen refused public display of affection, and Azen not liking the way Nicole looked, stating on air that he was only attracted to her 55%. Azen further went on to call Nicole lazy, especially during their walk through the desert, and even acted as her own personal trainer in hopes of getting her in better shape. Despite the lack of attraction between the two and hurtful insults thrown at each other, the two made it through and are still a thing as of late 2019. Pretty weird if you ask us. Number 3. Darcy and Jesse With their first appearance in Season 1, Darcy and her Dutch boyfriend Jesse didn't take long before earning the reputation for being one of the most problematic couples on the show. The 20-year age gap between the two seemed to bring more trouble into their already explosive relationship as they were always fighting about one thing or the other. Almost every episode had some meltdown and some drama here and there involving Darcy's drinking problem the argument about her throwing a shoe at Jesse, and much more. Honestly, the two always seemed ready to fight on pointless things like Darcy interfering and not letting Jesse cook dinner the way he wanted to. All of this was so childish that finally it was Darcy's young teenage daughter who called them both out on it and saying that they were the ones acting her age and asking them to grow up. Brutal but honest, these two soon split up. Number 4. Larissa and Colt Colt and Larissa brought drama to the show unlike any other. The two had many problems during their engagement on the show, including Larissa's dislike of Colt's cousin and mother, creating a lot of family drama as well. It was no surprise that Colt and Larissa didn't get along since their problems started from the moment Colt picked Larissa up from the airport and didn't bring flowers. Larissa had expectations way too high, and Colt was not a romantic by any means, and that's just not a good combination. Their fights were so explosive that the police were called on Larissa, not once, not twice, but three times. She was arrested right before their wedding and two times after it. In April 2019, the couple finally ended things with each other for good. Number 5. Molly and Luis Molly and Luis' relationship was a vacation fling taken too far. They met each other while Molly was vacationing in the Dominican Republic and Luis moved to Molly's house that she shared with her two daughters in season 5 of the show. Molly's oldest daughter disapproved of Luis and the rest of the family neither liked him or trusted him. And as time would prove, they were right not to trust him. The father of Molly's daughter stated that sometimes Molly was so desperate to have a man in her life that she would end up making bad decisions. With things not looking good due to fights between Molly and Luis, it seemed that their wedding would not happen. 
That is, until Molly confessed that they were already married. The two returned for 9 Day Fiancé Happily Ever After Season 3, but with the same toxic, problematic attitude towards each other. After an especially explosive fight where Luis threatened to call the police on Molly, Molly decided that she did not want to be married to him anymore and the two filed for divorce. Number 6. Ashley and Jay Season 6 Ashley and Jay seemed to have a charm and chemistry to make their relationship work. The two had an 11 year age difference and despite Jay's commitment issues, things were good enough between the two that ended up eloping in Vegas. But trouble showed up in paradise soon after they returned home as husband and wife. Ashley found out that Jay had been talking to other women on a dating site. During season 4 of Happily Ever After, they tried working through the issues, but to no avail. Ashley ended up discovering that Jay did more than just talk to other women and decided to end things with him as she filed for divorce in January of 2019. Number 7. George and Anfisa Anfisa and George made one hell of a couple, and not in a good way. Their relationship was based on greed and lies as Anfisa was a gold digger and George a liar, who lied about being rich because that was all Anfisa would really be interested in. The couple, who later ended up married, faced a really explosive rough patch during the days when Anfisa started acting out. Not only did she key George's car with the word idiot, she also kicked him out of the apartment and slapped him. Despite it all, by some weird play of fate, the two are still together even today when George is serving time behind bars for his marijuana bust, a train wreck that ended well. Number 8. Russ and Paola Russ and Paola did not have any easy time on the show, but managed to make it work regardless of their differences. At some point of the show, their conflicts were big enough to make it seem like they were too different to be a good match. Most of the drama revolved around Russ's disapproval of Paola's modeling career, the story around a friend of Paola's, disagreements about where to live, and Russ's conservative family's dislike of Paola's ways. But with time, Russ came to terms with Paola's confidence, saucy nature, her modeling career, and even agreed to move to Miami with her, and Paola remained adamant on winning over Russ's family even though they weren't exactly welcoming towards her. The two made it work, found happiness, and are busy raising a baby boy these days. Number 9. John and Rachel Rachel and John from Season 2 had viewers biting their nails out of nervousness when they first appeared on the show. The worrying element of their match was that Rachel was a single mother who met John on a karaoke app and fell in love with him while John was a mysterious man from the UK with a criminal record. But Rachel decided to take the leap and travel out to meet him with her newborn. Luckily, fate played in her favor and John turned out to be a kind and decent man who did have a past but had since changed his ways. He soon earned Rachel's trust and everything went smoothly after that. Now they're working on trying to get John to the US so that they can have their happily ever after. Number 10. Evelyn and David Starting off in Season 5 looking like a mismatch, 18-year-old singer Evelyn and her Spanish fiancé, 27-year-old David, proved everyone wrong. Initially, Evelyn came off as a naive and immature and David as much more level-headed and it seemed that their age gap and difference in personality would cause troubles, but they didn't. Nothing can stand in the way of love now, can it? Disagreements on where they live and doubts from Evelyn's friends proved only to be little bumps in the road for the two. Their biggest issue was on the topic of intimacy before marriage, but even that worked out for the better, as the two went on to get married and made a good life together built on love and trust, unlike many. That's pretty cute, don't you think? Anyways, that's all for today's video. Thank you guys for watching, and kudos to those who made it to the end. Leave a thumbs up if you enjoyed the video, and subscribe if you haven't already. We'll see you guys in the next one.